In the heart of a city rich in history, a memorial tour is taking place, highlighting the work of Liverpool-born historian and activist Eric Lynch. Pupils from St Vincent de Paul Primary School are going on a slavery history tour led by Eric's son Andrew, a chance to explore Liverpool's iconic buildings and understand their links to the slave trade. It's wonderful, um, literally walking in my father's footsteps with the slavery history tour. My father thought that um, Liverpool's links with the slave trade were basically ignored. It was buried and not seen as something salubrious, something that we should be talking about. Whereas for my father, my father thought that, that this was a central thing in terms of understanding the growth of the city and understanding what racism was about. Eric Scott Lynch first started his slavery history trails here in Liverpool in the 1970s, educating people from all walks of life about the city's links to the slave trade, including the buildings and institutions paid for by the slave economy. And in Africa, the pupils visited three iconic places, taking them on a journey through time. So here right next to me is the River Mersey and um, people from Africa were took um, to Liverpool right here and were forced to grow sugar canes and many other things for the, for the people in Liverpool. It was really bad conditions because nobody would treat them like respectfully. This is an example of a ship that it was used for enslavery to enslave people from places like India, China and Africa and King John was really cruel so he took over places like India, China and Africa. When the tide came in they shut the gates and left the ships in here still in water. This is the old dock and it helped bring one and a half million people from Africa to Liverpool and then to America. Without them, all of these buildings and the floor would have still not been built and it could have been river because all of this was built by the slaves. Back in the classroom, the children will take part in a new writing prize set up in Eric's name. A writing prize would be very close to my father's heart because he was self-educated ultimately. He taught himself to write, he taught himself to read. Um, so in terms of a legacy, an ongoing legacy, the combination of knowing about um, slavery history and, and the roots of racism and um, putting that into literary form couldn't be any better. Eric died in 2021, aged 89, but his legacy lives on. A pioneering figure in the fight for recognition of black history in Liverpool. Lucille Brobby, ITV News.